O H I O Go Buckeyes! Cleveland Sports guys. I'm your host Jameson. This is Take and this is Al. And uh, what about those Buckeyes guys? Oh, what yes. about oh, those Buckeyes? Yes. My Back goodness. where we belong in the National Championship. You tell me about mm-hmm. it. Um, what are some of the top players that stood out to you guys during this game? Um, Man, where do I begin? Devin Smith. <laughs> Schmitty. Came around, played quarterback for us for a play. <laughs> Came around, threw it. Uh, who did he hit? Evan uh, Spencer. Evan Spencer, yeah. yeah. Evan Spencer came down with the ball on the like halfway mark between out of bounds and inbounds. His foot turned sideways, landed right there, got the touchdown. I don't know how he that got was it. a crazy play. Um, what other play did I like? Ezekiel Elliott taking off, looking like he's going to get hit in the backfield oh. twice. Oh. Hurdled over somebody and went all the way down to the one yard line. I had three heart attacks during that guy. <laughs> three when that happened. Wow. Yeah. What, what, what about you? What do you? Uh, plays for wow. You? I mean, you pretty much summed it up. I'd say the one to Evan Spencer and excuse my French guys, but the play that Urban Meyer calling that play from Devin Smith to Spencer that took balls. Especially where we were at, we weren't getting into the goal line. We mm. kind of abandoned the run game, so that took balls in this part. And just uh, for me, Cardell Jones. I mean, the guy looked like a fifth-year senior out there. Guys. Yeah, he did. He looked just like a yes, fifth-year senior. Um, he was accurate. Mm-hmm. And the, the boy can run. Yes, he can. That boy can yeah, run. He's fast. He is very For a fast. big guy, he is fast. And then he, and what, what is he, 6'6", six, six, like 260 or something like that? 6'6", uh, really? six, six, 250 pounds. Oh, to, to be that fast. And I kind of hate to compare him to this guy, but I think to me he's kind of like Ben Roethlisberger. Yep. I mean, just like a Roethlisberger. I hate, I've, been saying that, uh, I've been saying that since spring training when I saw him practicing right. man he looked just like Roethlisberger out there he's he's so calm and poised in the pocket he doesn't let anything rattle him he right. feels someone on him he doesn't he doesn't panic and he doesn't go down he doesn't just tuck the ball and take the sack he just uh he keeps his head so clear and focused just throws the ball down and we complete it he throws most of his passes like 50 yards. <laughs> <laughs> you got to for him. Yes, he does. He throws 12 gauges. With and very him. accurate. <laughs> as long as his <laughs> off-field antics aren't like Roethlisberger. Sorry, oh. sorry Ben. Uh, I'm, <laughs> Don't be sorry. You went there. Uh, <laughs> you went I, I did go there. I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, let's talk about the great performance by the defense. My goodness, what a what a overall uh, championship performance, guys. Man. Championship performance. What stood out to you guys about that? Our punter. I know we said defense, but our punter yeah. had one punt. He was all the way, almost outside of the end zone. Right, right, right. Punted the ball to, I think it was like the 30. Uh-huh. He got to the 30, like, oh, shoot, he did a nice job. It bounced all the way back to the 15. <laughs> <laughs> then our defense stopped him. Yeah. They were, all their plays came in the beginning of the game came from being on the 30-yard line and under in the red zone. And we were able to stop them, what was it, three times yeah. down there? Oh, yeah. Man, our defense stepped it way up. They brought Joey Bosa didn't have an outstanding sack game, but he did what he needed to do to rattle them in the backfield. He was that decoy. He, sh- he hurt their quarterback by getting in his face. And making him make some bad decisions. And yes, he did. Man, Blake made some bad decisions. <laughs> <laughs> I think the defense is going to be really important in the upcoming game. Yes, because really, is. if you stop oh, and think time. about it, defense wins games. And yes, they're going does. up against a team that has a very, very fast-paced offense. Very exactly. fast. Faster mistaken, than Alabama. I think it's like they, they run a play like every 20 seconds. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, you're also going up against, what, a Heisman Trophy winner. Yes. So, <laughs> defense, defense, defense. <laughs> Um, I'd say for me, you were talking about punters earlier. Tank, what about Alabama's punter? 
if, if this guy isn't picked in the first round for oh money, my god my, I, know. I, I mean my goodness <laughs> how do you put this good within the game i mean man oh I, that god. dude was outstanding <laughs> I, my mom is even saying she's never seen a punter go in the first round but right. he, he deserves <laughs> he, to he deserves <laughs> <laughs> um, getting, getting to the defense on my part, I'd say the whole secondary stepped up for me. Uh, Darren Lee had a huge game. Um, I, I'd say the linebackers played a very good game. Yes, they did. And the good thing, and, and also the things you guys may not know, this is all freshmen and sophomores out there. So yes, they'll it is. all be back next year. All so of this, them is, is, uh, this is definitely going to be phenomenal. And we shut down a, a Heisman Trophy winner. Or not winner, <laughs> but runner up, Amari Cooper. Oh, yeah. Oh, we did. He was very 70 some yards. <laughs> all right, guys. So, um, Obviously, we had two of the best coaches in football, obviously, the almighty Nick Saban against the great Urban Meyer. Both yes, from Ohio, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you have to say about the coach performances from both guys? This was Popovich versus Phil Jackson, <laughs> man, for real. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, they, like, well, um, a lot of people have been saying they were taken completely out of their game plan. They, it, By halftime, if you watch that interview with Nick Saban, he looked shocked. Right. Like, uh, I don't know what just happened. Right. Uh, are we p- still playing this game? I, I I don't know what happened on defense. We they sh- every third down they're getting it. I'm right, like right. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, and uh, Urban Meyer with our offense, he ch- crazy man, just crazy. He, he's, he, he's got a sack. I they came that, to man. play. Yeah. What about you? What do you think? Honestly, uh, that, that's it's, it's tough to say. I, I I'm I'm ashamed to say that the game I did not get a chance to see it, mm. but unfortunately I was working. <laughs> not so American. I'm, I'm not, not American. American. <laughs> Hate me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I blame being uh, at work. I, I've only seen a little bit of interviews and stuff like that. I'm I'm kind of just nodding my head agreeing because everything mm. you guys say makes perfect sense. <laughs> But yeah, man, they um the coaches really did. They had that was a really good coach game. But by both guys, it, it was it was time for Saban to lose. Oh, it, oh, it definitely <laughs> was. It was definitely a dog fight when it came to that. Um, I say they did both abandon their game plans. I thought we ran, we should have passed, passed, we should have ran. But you mm-hmm. know what? We were able to come on top, and Urban was the best one. Yes, he was. All right, guys, moving on to Oregon. Um, obviously Ooh, we know Oregon's got one of the most uh, up tempo offenses. They obviously have the Heisman winner in Mariota. Yep. Um, pretty decent defense. Uh, I, I believe you were saying out oh, there, what, a 20 second? They, they had right up to 20 yeah. seconds. And I think they're also, I think, number two in the nation with yards per play. Yards I think play. they wow. average like close to eight. So, Oof. yeah. That, that is crazy. Well, what do you guys have to say about that? Like, what are your feelings as far as the uh, Oregon game goes? It's going to be fun. Yes, I, it is. I think I our offense will cancel out their defense and their defense, or, and then, like, vice versa. Like, it's going to be a high-scoring game. Or oh, yeah. It's going to be an offensive game. Defenses probably won't really matter in this game too much because <laughs> their offense is fast. Our offense is fast. Right. Um, their quarterback likes to run. Our quarterback <laughs> likes to run. Our running backs are fast, very, very, very uncatchable. Oh, yeah. Their running backs are very uncatchable. <laughs> it's, it's sound like even match. And it's then like we, match. Got, we got receivers on both sides that can just streak and get open and quarterback can throw down to them. So do they. <laughs> <laughs> Although they are missing, um, shout out to Pharaoh Brown. Hope you get better soon. He broke, I think he broke his leg or something. Oh, he's man. their tight end for. Uh, get better, man. He's a tight end for Oregon who actually went to my high school, mm-hmm. Brush, which I actually got to see him play a couple times. But he's pretty good. He'll 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 be a huge factor for them next year. But um, other than that, man, their receivers are just. Fast. Well, in fact, the receiver, what is it, uh, Marshall, 66 catches, 834 yep. yards, five touchdowns. Uh, they're mm-hmm. going to have to focus in on him. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be a defensive game. It's just bottom line. That's all there is yeah. to it. So you believe it's going to be defensive pretty much for the most part, are you? It's, I think it's going to have to be in order for them to get a win. I mean, mm-hmm. when was the last time we won a national championship? 02, if I'm not mistaken, yep. was it? So, I mean, here Miami. we are 13 years later. Um, it's it's not going to be an easy game. You oh, know, no. If you really take a look no. at how their offenses are stacked, Oregon is what? ranked number two and I think unfortunately they ranked Ohio State at like nine which I kind of think is kind of a bum rap in <laughs> yeah, my opinion I think is, our offense is. is better than what statistics say but um it's going to be interesting to see how they go up against each other I mean, yeah I just think the critics they just don't want to believe in Ohio State right now well, no, because, because of what's going on with we're on our third string quarterback and he was the one that got us into the national championship well, I think even them being ranked when they ranked four I yeah mean, isn't that kind of a low in my yeah. opinion and, yeah it is <laughs> All right, guys, are wrapping things up here. Um, obviously, the game is next Monday. What would your predictions be? Um, I'm going to say Ohio State by a touchdown. 
Ooh. I'm going to have to say Ohio State, but I'm going to probably say by six. Uh, oh. I hope to redeem Two myself for missing the last game and uh, be an upstanding Ohioan and American. Please <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> Go Bucks. I'm, I'm going to go with Ohio State here. I'm going to go with Ohio State. I'm going to say by two touchdowns. I just think that we're going to come out on fire. I think we're riding the high. I think Ezekiel is waking up. I think our defense is waking up. And mm-hmm. I just think this is our game. And Ohio State's back, guys. That's how oh, it yeah. It's finally happened. Yes, 13 it does. years later. We're going to run it, it for the next two years. Yes, we are. <laughs> but that about wraps things up, guys, for Inside Cleveland Sports. Have a good day out there. Go Bucks. Yeah, and happy send New your year. questions. Happy Please New send year. your questions Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Wherever you have us on, send us questions. We'll answer. And subscribe. Please. And, and, no, subscribe. Ha- and no hate to me. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no hate now. No hate now. Please, no.